What's up guys, Proper Truth here, and welcome back to the channel. So, today what you guys are going to be getting is uh, actually what you guys have been requesting. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people have been hitting me up on Facebook, and um, some in the comments asking uh, about one of the Code Talker deck profiles that I posted up about uh, three weeks ago or so. Not the top eight Code Talker one, the deck profile before that. You see, I had taken out Avermax in that deck profile to test out Deco Talker. And a lot of you guys have been hitting me up asking me why did I take out Avermax for Deco Talker, knowing that Avermax is a lot better. So I did it just to test, guys, because I love Deco Talker and I, and I feel like that's why you guys are hitting me up. It's OG Cybers and it's like Yusaku's slash Playmaker's, one of his ace monsters alongside with Firewall. So I'm going to show you guys why. I played Deco Talker. Why well, I was testing Ashley, let's put it like that. And um, not only that you can use Deco Talker uh, for this, you can as well use Deco Talker Extended and Deco Talker Heat Soul when TCG gets it. Now the combo is a lot better with Heat Soul because of the fact that you get a draw out of it on your turn and on your opponent's turn you get another draw. So it's a lot better with that. With uh, Co Talker Extended, you can push more of an OTK because he gets to attack twice if he destroys a monster so that's actually really good and then deco talker og deco talker is actually good because i was using him for protection wise so i don't want to uh stay too much and just talking to you guys about it I, i'd rather just show you now i did some practice hands with it i also did some uh duels with it and little tweaks here and there that i was testing on some cards i'm not only using the um deco talker he saw but i'm also using cyanet cross wipe and as you can see uh, code, code Exporter. These are the cards that we are waiting for. Those are the main three cards. Decode Heat Soul, Code Exporter, and Cyanide Crossway. So, starting off with the Cyanide Mining, pitching the Micro Carter Summon Gadget, bring back the Micro Carter, and instantly you guys already know I'm going to link into Code Talk from there, triggering both Gadget and Micro Carter, getting a token, searching for Codec, activate Codec, and then here I'm just going to use a Generator to go into the Decode Talker. Now, as you guys see right here, I did not go straight into Transco Talker, which most people would do. Uh, I went straight into the Deco Talker because of the fact that it's, I can actually tribute monsters when I start when I get uh, monsters that he's, he can point to to negate like Imperm or Veil or, or any of that type of stuff. Now, um, let's continue. I generated Senders Dotscaper, end up special summoning, and then I went straight into Cold Talker from here, triggering Cold Talker Codec. And obviously from here I'm gonna add, oh an exporter bringing back the the uh, the micro coder. Now remember, micro coder was actually sent from the field. I never got to use him in the hand. So that's an extender right there, guys. Do not forget that. Continuing off, special summoning the battle. So Lord Payne a thousand to get an additional summon, and then linking off into Splash Maze. Splash Maze bring back the scaper, and then link off into uh transco talker and since i had an additional summon as you can see i got rid of the code talker when i summoned the um what's his name firewall guardian into the uh the cyber's wicked and guardian since he was used for a link i get to special summon him and i special summoned him under the wicked banishing balancer lord for cost to search for a tuner cyber's monster and that's math mech sigma Activating the Balancer Lord since he got banished to special summon the um the armed bitch armed bitchron and I choose to activate the effect to tribute it to bring out a mud skipper. Now you guys already know what mud skipper do. If you played salad, you get to search for a level five or higher salad monster out your I mean uh cybers out of your deck. Bringing out the Sim Tablar. Keep going from here. Bring out the escorter, blocking off a zone. Bring back the Deco Talker with here, and then link off into the Firewall, activating Sigma into shooting, is linking into shooting Code Talker, and then here, as you can see, bringing back the Gadget Summon Tablar, triggering the Archiver, and then linking into uh, Update Jammer. Right here, I kind of wish I had an, like, another extender, so I can be able to you lock him with here with three bounces and Firewall being protected. So. It's a pretty cool field. Uh, I like it. You can also do this. Now, Firewall doesn't have to be here. You guys can as well use Trigate Wizard, uh, which you guys will see a gameplay on that. So let's get straight to the next, uh, the next one, guys.
All right, guys, so this is another hand uh, using uh, summoning Deco Talker. However, I wanted to show you guys this because of uh, simply this card right here, Garbage Collector. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people who play Cybers do not play this guy. Like, do not sleep on this guy. He's a common. He came out of one of the structure decks. And um, this guy's really good depending on your hand. Now, this hand, your average people will probably be like, this is like a bad hand. This is the only thing that saves you. But the, the most you can probably do is Transcode Talker with a um, code talker connected or even a trans code and an X code on the board and that's it but that's not the case you can still have full combo just because of this guy right here and I'm gonna show you guys this now here armored bitchtron is what's gonna help you bring out your level four this is your lone file lone fire your tribune special summon a cyber monster from your deck but his effects are negated and that's the effect that you really really want to use so and on top of that um his other effect is if a link three or higher link monster is destroyed by battle by card effects so you can special summon it but then he gets banished that's not a bad effect guys it's a graveyard effect so um let me press play to show you what garbage collector is really about so you normally summon the armor bitron bring out the you know lone fire i mean the cold radiator activate optimization remember this gives you an immediate normal summon now in this situation don't forget guys bring out the cold radiator because you want the cold radiator radiator in back in your hand and that's exactly what garbage collector is going to do garbage collector says you target a other a one other cybers monster you control that began the duel in the main deck and you return it back to the hand and if you do special summon from your deck one cybers monster with the same level but a different name the effects the monster that comes out its effects are not negated and that's what's crucial about it so right here this is not bad because you want cold radiator in hand. So basically, you went plus by sum summoning the cold radiator, radiator and adding it to your hand so you could be able to use the link effect from the hand. And not only that, you're going to bring out your lady debug that's going to get you a search. So right here, you activate the lady debug. You're going to end up searching. I searched backup because I already had coder in the hand and I figured I need an extender. Backup is an extender. Right here, now you continue your regular plays. Coder was going to bring out the, the codec. I mean, microcode brings out codec. Go into your place from here. Decode talk comes out. I'm going to search for the um, firewall guardian, special summit, and then to the um, code talk inverter, trigger one and two. And right here, I'm just going to search for the balance of lord, special summon the balance of lord, pay the thousand so I can get an additional summon. Monster reborn the code uh, talker and bring out the trans code talker. Get the generator to the hand. And then still, uh, code generator to summon the Xcode and then still be able to extend from here. Mill out the Dotscaper, search for the Parallel Exceed, special summon the Dotscaper, and then summoning off the Cybers Wicked. In the same combo you guys saw in the last and first uh, testing hand, it's pretty much what you're going to do here. And I, I just went a little bit more different because as you can see, Splash Mage is still here. And this is what I was talking to you guys about right here. You don't need to go into the firewall. So as you can see, I did not bring the uh, Deco Talker back. I brought back Inverter so I can go into the Link 3 to summon Trigate Wizard. Bring back the Garbage Collector. You can bring back anybody. You're going to link it off to the shooting code. And you're going to be able to search from there. And then Firewall. Activating. Additional summon. Link off. Bring back. And now you're going to link into the Link Disciples right here. As you guys see, that hand that you guys probably thought it was a bad gave me a U-Lock with a negation and the Trigate protected by targeting and destruction with a Firewall Dragon giving me a free bounce. So that is a, not, that is a pretty impressive hand. The only downside, you have no hand. You have no hand, guys. But you get a negation, you get a bounce, you got protection. So your update jammer and your Trigate Wizard can be destroyed by card effects. Trigate Wizard can be targeted. The only way they're really going to have to get through this board, especially if they need to link, is going to battle phase and attacking one of your link monsters. But then that's what you got Firewall for to bounce back. If they don't OTK you here, you have access. Whatever you draw next, access Code Talker is going to be the answer to, to ending the game from here. So... That is with Deco Talker, guys. Let me show you another another gameplay real quick. All right, guys. So now that you saw what uh, the combos look like to summoning Deco Talker and why I was testing it, here is actually a duel with uh, somebody playing uh, Sacred Beast Unchained. So look at my hand. 
What is this? That's like having three straddles in your hand. Insane, insane. But, but, does not mean that this is a bad hand. If you guys are very familiar with Code Talkers or Cybers in general, you guys know that this is a decent hand that you can work with. It's not going to be the best, but decent. So, let me show you that you still have somewhat of a combo. So, I'm going first. I won the die roll. And, uh... Similar, to basically, you guys know what the what the code talker combo is with the codec and all this other shenanigans. Um, this is basically what I like about this this um particular play. It's just the fact that you can always end with a decent board, no matter what the hand looks like. As you can see, I'm now I'm going to the inverter. And now I'm gonna search and then I'm gonna get the balance alert so I can summon another lady debug that I wish that it wasn't once per turn, but sadly it is. And then look, I still was able to accomplish something out of here. Not much, but it was something. You know, um, as you watch right here, I still I had to get rid of the deco talker. This hand was not the best, but I was still able to manage with something through here. Balance of Lords, special summon a Sigma. Firewall and boom. Now I decided to play Honeybot in here because Honeybot is Honeybot. 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 Wow. Honeybot has a decent effect. Neither player can target monsters that this card points to with card effects, and those monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. So Firewall can be destroyed by card effects, cannot be targeted nor destroyed by battle. Wicked can be destroyed by card effects or battle. So basically, your best bet is trying to get over this damn Honeybot, but with two bounces. Let's see how that works out. So I don't, I'm not too 100% familiar how really Unchained works, but I, you know, I, when I was playing against it, I was like, oh great. I don't even remember, I don't know what I'm playing against. So I'm like, I'm playing some probably like uh, totally awesome shenanigans or, or, or alter guys, I, I'm in for a surprise. So I was like, you know, let me just bounce something now, get back uh, microcoder to the hand. So right now Firewall is useless on the bounces because he's not once per turn anymore. So, uh, right here, whatchamacallit, uh, Sacred Beast Awakening. So, right here, I was like, okay, he's playing Sacred Beast. So, maybe what I bounced back was like a beckoning or something. So, I was like, I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to OTK him now, or else that, um, I'm gonna see a Sacred Beast that I'm gonna have a problem about, because right here, once Fallen Paradise is on, out, they become giant magic specters. So, he scooped right here. Alright, guys. So, now that you guys saw what it is with Deco Talker, you're going to be pretty much doing a similar combo, pretty much almost the same combo, just with, uh, instead of Decode, with Hiso. So just so you can see that you can get uh, the quick effect to draw a card on your opponent's turn or your turn, you know, all that other stuff. So let's get straight to it because this guy is playing, uh, uh, what you gonna call it, the Savala Saval Saval Plant deck? I don't know. I'm barely knew anything about this archetype. Savali. I mean Savan deck, whatever. Oh my goodness. Uh but yeah, he's playing the plant deck. And I never all I know is that they excavate a lot and they do things. So they pretty much do uh excavating and a lot of special summoning. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to keep up with him and then all of a sudden I just see a bunch of exceeds coming out and I'm like, oh great, here we go. And then he starts plucking stuff out of my extra deck. I'm like, ah, oh, this guy's going to kill me. But I had to play around this. You have to learn how to play around certain things anyway. So by the time my turn came, I had a decent hand just because of Lady Debug, which was pretty good. The Sigma was already in my hand. I really didn't want that in the hand. But like I always say, you got to work with it. So I'm up now. I draw into the Sea Archiver. He activates that and sends my Firewall. He sends my Firewall. But he did not send the heat so firewall was not my goal my guy so uh pretty much uh going straight from here i had to improvise here so i couldn't do the exact same combo that i i, I wanted to uh oh yeah hey, this is even funnier guys i play summon limit now <laughs> i play the summon limit i play one only so uh just so like if i went first and did this hand i flip conflict phase if i set conflict phase down and summon limit it's pretty game over pretty much game over and right here it's like okay i have a really good chance of going off right here now look at that heat so that heat so is at 4300 attack because he's getting that extra boost from x code talker plus his boost 
So we're looking at 4,800, and uh, I won uh, just because um, he, he he didn't he didn't do anything. Like I ended up winning because I had to wait for him. His time was up for all that waiting, but all he had to do, all I had to do, was really clear the whole board. He has one card in the hand. You know, he draws three cards. It's a, it's a it's a grateful charity for for them. So in reality, it's like it really he would really have to top deck. And even if he did, I still have a decent board with summon limit in the hand. I have a, a decode he so on the board. I get to draw on his turn. So I'm gonna go have four cards. By the time it's my turn, I'm gonna draw my fifth and then activate he sold again and draw a six. And that just replenished my whole hand. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, in reality, it would be five instead of six because I'm going to set the summon limit. But um, this is exactly like, this is why we need this guy, Konami. Stop playing around. So uh, let me show you guys something else. All right, guys. So in this game, um, uh, it was going up against uh, Galaxy Eyes. Honestly, uh, we all know that Galaxy is more of a rogue deck, uh, but can be annoying because of their Link Monster and, they, and Negation. But... um. With this hand, he does interrupt me on um, on my turn, as you guys will see, and I still be able, I'll still be able to play through it. He ends up going first. He um, pitches the Galaxy Soldier special summon his, and he searches. Uh, his hand wasn't that good. I don't even know what's... I know this, that's a new Photon. Photon hand is a new card. I feel like Galaxies can do a lot better than what he ends with here. Uh, simply just because he just because solar is on board that is an interruption gets to pop a card on my board um but I get to I, I get to play around it so like you, it doesn't have to be um solar to to interrupt if it was anything else like that gets to pop something on board or negate anything on board you can still play through this even if it wasn't Nibiru because you can still play through it um right here he tries to pop it and that's what I love about he soul is that look he interrupted he wanted to get Hiso off the board. He interrupted uh, by destroying this, and I still got to use the quick effect to draw a card uh, out of it. Like this could have been anything. It really, like if it was a hand trap, like a droll or something. You know, it's really, really good. But it ended up being a uh, uh, mud skipper. I mean, four, four mud skipper. Yeah, and uh, I could still play through this. Uh, Bitch armor, Bistron bringing out the firewall guardian, and then triggering the guardian the special summon, and still have splash. Uh, uh, Splash Mage to Special Summon and go into the Transcope Talker from here. This is what's crazy about all this. Bringing back the Hiso, linking it off the of Firewall, Special Summon, and then like, look, I still had an additional Normal Summon from Balance of Lord going straight into the Access Code Talker. And right here, you would think it's game, but um, it is game, but it, I, you think it's over, but I still continue to play off from here. And this is the beauty about Cybers. Like, through interruptions, even if he had a hand trap, I would still be able to play through this. And that's what what's pretty amazing about this. Going to the inverter, and look, I'm still getting a summon out of this. Um, I actually uh, was testing Nabla again. Like, I took out Nabla. I was back and forth with Nabla uh, and Sigma because I wanted, like, if Nabla hits the grave, I can make something here, attack twice, and extra monster zone. So I was going back and forth to trying it, uh, but I like Sigma more. So, I trust me, stick with Sigma. If you guys want to play with Nabla, you know, like how I did in the other duels that you saw, the other test duels, um, I had Firewall here or Shooting Cold Talker here. And remember, Shooting Cold Talker gets to attack as many times uh, for how many cards it points to. So, since he already pointed in the one, he gets two attack plus Nabla, he'll get another attack. So, that's why I was testing it again. I just put it back just to play around with it and explain to you guys why I was going back and forth. Um, and as you can see, I still had an, I still had plays. I still had a special summon with the inverter, bringing out the lady debug, getting a search out of it, and playing through the interruption is not hard at all. And the firewall, I'm getting three bounces, well, two bounces and a return. I brought back Kiso, and right here is just game. It's it was like no hope for this, but um, again, it was galaxy eyes, guys. Like if this was anything else, it would have been different. Like if I had this board with uh with a conflict or even a summon lemon that maybe it might be a little bit different but um you still have protection here as you can see five was protected by x code and wicked so it can't be destroyed by card effects x code cannot be targeted or destroyed by battle so it's like they're forced to go into uh getting rid of honeybot or the x code and they still have to worry about the wicked so firewall was extra protected just in case access code if you did not win the game with access code then you screwed up somewhere so uh next tool guys all right guys so instead of giving you guys a hand test uh with 
decode talk extended i'm just gonna go straight to the door uh just for time wise so here i was going up against uh as you can see utopia and i guess he was using all the new stuff that came out especially that it was just announced this week so i wouldn't be surprised why people wouldn't would be using it so um of course uh he won he actually won the rock paper scissors he wanted to go second i'm pretty sure because utopia wants the otk so i go first and with here it's going to be the same play but um instead of ending i i ended uh with more of like with the trigate and the firewall uh thing and i really like the fact that with this build especially summoning all of the link three main decode token monsters i was always trying to figure that out how to summon the main decode monsters all together and i finally figured it out and i figured you know yes this this build is not a competitive build guys this is more of a rogue fun build and look this is exactly what i'm talking about like you have the main like over here like if this was he sold it would be like mainly uh uh decode extended decode talker or you know and he sold over here but the fact that you can do that is it's with this, with this deck there's so many different variants of this deck it's so cool of what you what you can do with it you can make the the whole ritual uh, exceed synchro fusion play and, and, and be able to otk your opponent with firewall dark fluid like there's so many different variants of cybers decks that you can incorporate and with me i was just doing this for fun and mainly because again people were asking me why did i take out avermax for deco talker this is exactly why guys um i was trying to go for a, a different type of strategy this time and as you can see here um i ended up winning because i i end i went to uh, uh, I was gonna about to end my turn, but then it was like he was waiting for something. Like I said, waiting on top. So I don't know what he was waiting for. He never had a response to anything. So I was I was scared. I thought I was gonna see like some Nambiru before uh, Firewall came out. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, let's uh, let me show you guys one more. All right, guys. So this is actually gonna be the final duel I'm gonna give you guys uh, before I give you guys the deck profile here. Um, I didn't go into the X, X code, X decode extended uh, because it was this was a difficult way to play around it. However, I'm showing you guys build to this 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 hand this door right here because of the fact that how I actually set up the board. It was nothing too crazy, but the fact that I have conflict and summon limit in my hand is what really saved me. So. Let's uh, go straight to it. Sign in mining, pitching the must skipper, searching the lady, debug, debug searches for the microcoder, microcoder, and debug going to code talker. Trigger the microcoder, search for the con, 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 con uh, uh, codec, and then you know the strategies from here. Go into the transcode, search for the generator, bring back, and here I go straight into the transcode, xcode play. Um, just because of the fact that there was nothing more I can really do other than send the scraper and search for the info flyer to get two more summons on board and then use those two monsters to link summon to the honey bot. Set those two cards and pass my turn. Now right here it's like a little soft lock because you have Transco, Exco cannot be targeted and Transco cannot be destroyed by card effects. The Exco cannot be targeted not only through Transco but also through Honey Bot and cannot be destroyed by battle. Then just to top it off with the conflict and the summon limit, even better. Now once I saw the fossil deck, I thought I was going against dinosaurs so I was expecting an ultimate conductor, but that wasn't the case. He ended up searching for the Scrap Raptor, summoned it, that was his normal summon, I figured I'd conflict that. So I thought it was, I thought he was gonna do an item from there. Then I saw a Mech Knight. Considering that I was his second summon, I figured I would flip up summon limit. He said he couldn't do nothing after that. Past turn, and I figured, you know what? Under summon limit, let's just go straight to the access code talker, and he scooped from there. He knew his game, so I wanted to show you that just simply because of the fact that summon limit. Uh, I wanted to show you that you can set establish board with something simple and flip up summon limit, or you do. Draw summon limit and do the whole shenanigans what I've been showing you either with the firewall and the trigate or with like the the heat saw and all that and then set the summon limit and you still establish board pretty well. Now I out of all the doors and practice doors that I used, as you guys can see, I did not draw sign cross cross wipe. 
so it's in the deck so I'm gonna give you guys the profile right now so as you guys can see this is the deck profile 40 cards as I was just saying and look I played two of them I played two sign a cross wipe and I did not draw none of them I don't know why that's like me I barely even drew into optimization as well and I didn't even draw into call by the grave or none of them as well. So like, I don't know what it was. I should have been seeing at least one of these right here. But I do play a uh, Sonic Cross Wipe. So the, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Cross Wipe right now because of the fact that I did not draw it so you guys did not see any gameplay on it. But think of it like how you can end the board with Conflict, uh, Summon Limit, and a Cross, a cross Wipe. You have a cross wipe that's not once per turn, so that's why I'm playing too. You trip your Cybers monster, you pop a card on board. You, this is your way out to like Mystic Mine and stuff if you don't feel like you want to play Cosmic Cyclone or Twin Twister. The reason why I rather play this is because of the fact that it's searchable with microcoder. So like, if you need to clear any type of back row, you can just search it with the microcoder and clear the back row from there. Or if you happen to have it on your draw phase and your opponent goes and he's signed in mining, you can add, you might have to just get rid of a Cyber's monster you control to pop that sign in mining to be able to continue your play. So that's why I was like, let me test this before um throwing the cosmic cyclones in here. Uh so far, this is the build that I like. I'm comfortable with this. This again, this is just a, a rogue version of like the, the code talkers now as you can see in the extra deck guys i had to go back and forth between decode heat so and extended extended is here as of right now because that was the last he was the last one i was testing out to for the video for you guys but i was going back and forth so it's not like i was playing all three of them in here because the extra deck is tight guys so i was just doing this so you guys can see and use the main code decode talker monsters you know these are the main guys this is a, a connection to uh with soul burner right here and extended he actually uh playmaker actually summoned it in the show against his good friend um i forgot how to say his name uh, it's, it's a hard Japanese name, but it was his his friend that worked at the hot dog stand, you know, um, when he was playing Code Breakers. So this is how he ended up beating him. So I figured, you know what, this is like a connection with him and his friend, and then a connection with him and Soul Burner, and then this is just a connection to him and I. So I was like, you know what, these are the main three Code Talkers. I figured the Link 3 Code Talkers that I can just show you uh, that you guys can be using this. Now, with decode extended remember he gets to attack twice so like if you're gonna go for a game if you're gonna go for like you're gonna end this duel right away you can actually end it with him attacking twice access code talker on the board or even a firewall as you saw earlier so uh this is yeah this deck list guys these are stuff down here that i was just testing back and forth like you know i did have a prohibited snake in in the deck I literally took it out the last minute right before video in this. I did have a third balancer lord and as well a third uh, parallel seed, but I took uh, the parallel seed and the balancer lord out and uh, put in the the cross uh, sign a cross wipe. There was another card in here that I ended up taking out. I just can't remember because I wanted to play garbage collector again, guys. Garbage collector, you don't need to play more than one of. I think he's such a good card. If you have him, you have him. If you have him in a dead hand, but you're able to get another monster on board. So like, let's say if you was able to normal summon this and then special summon addition by just giving him a thousand and send the addition back to your hand. I had to bring out a lady debug to search for microcoder generator any of these guys here around uh, this is just it's just an ex it's just an extra extender if needed you know um your lone fire over here which is the armored bitchtron this will get you literally anything else but don't get anything that's that activates on board or that you need the effect on the board because it's not going to work because the effects are negated you'll bring out monsters like exporter you'll bring out monsters like generator or microcoder or mug skipper you know stuff like that or even the dot scaper and e or a fire uh, firewall guardian you have so many options look even a, a cold radiator these are all graveyard effects that you can use and be able to to apply in the graveyard even sigma if you really needed to so uh yeah, I don't want to spend, uh, I already spent enough time on this video for you guys. I, I hope I answered most of you guys, your guys' questions, especially through Facebook. You guys were blowing me up of why I was playing Deco Talker. 
and now you guys know you not only deco talker you can play the um deco talker extended and the heat soul especially when it comes down to tcg this will this type of deck will be able to pr uh, pull that out and maybe you guys might be able to find a competitive build uh to to tweak it up on your way so if you guys really did enjoy this video please hit that thumbs up button show some love to the channel and uh guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you at the next video later